All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to your third Android development tutorial. And in this tutorial, now that we have Eclipse downloaded, we need to custom configure it just for developing Android apps. So we're going to be doing two things in this tutorial. First thing is we're going to be setting up our ADT, and our ADT is our Android development tools. Now, when we set this up, Whenever we create an Android app, this is going to create the base files and the basic structure of our app so we don't have to do it. So that's pretty cool. That's why we're setting up the ADT. The next thing we're going to be doing, actually, let's just uh, do that first now that I don't want to confuse you guys. So in order to set up your Android development tools, and again, this is a thing that creates the base files and the basic structure for your application, you need to do this. Go ahead to help once you open Eclipse, of course and go ahead to install new software now once you click that you see this box opens right here and what you're going to want to do after that is click add and this is going to allow you to add the location of where the software is and it's pretty much going to download it for you so um, just go ahead and name it anything you want let's name it Android ADT or Android development tools whatever you prefer I'll leave that up to you and in the location let me see if I can get this right. I have it written down right next to me. Go ahead and type this exactly. And by the way, what I'll do is um, I'll copy this link and put it in my YouTube description. So if you look under this video, it's right there for you. But anyways, if you're just following along right now, here's what you got to do. Go ahead and type HTTPS colon backslash backslash or front slash, whatever the heck it is, DL minus SSL dot Google dot com slash android slash eclipse there we go I know I typed it right because I already have it downloaded and that's why it says duplicate location for me but for you it's a, it should not say duplicate location because you don't have it downloaded yet what you should be able to do is hit ok right here and once you hit ok it's gonna take you to another box now again since I have this downloaded I can't show you but once you're in the other box go ahead and check the box next to developer tools and then you need you know just go ahead and press accept finish um, and then it's gonna ask you to restart Eclipse and just go ahead and restart it because you know saying before the changes take into effect you need to restart it yada 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 basically once you hit OK just remember to check the box next to the developer tools everything else is gonna be self-explanatory so anyways, like I said, I already have this downloaded, so that's why it says duplicate location for me, but it won't for you. So, now with that said and done, now your Android developer tools are set up properly. So the next thing I was talking to you guys about earlier is, the next thing, next part of this tutorial is, we need to set the location. <laughs> oh, I just ate a meatball sub and like, meatballs are flying out of my, out of my mouth. It's pretty gross. But anyways, now that we installed the ADT we need to set the location of the SDK now remember from the last couple of tutorials we already downloaded the SDK but now all we have to do is tell Eclipse where it is because Eclipse want to, wants to use it but it doesn't know where in our computer it's stored so we gotta give it a little hint and in order to do that here's what we gotta do go to start computer and then go to your main hard drive right here now wherever you download your SDK it's going to be in either your program files or your program files times 86 mine are in my program files times 86 but yours might be in your program files did I just say the same thing twice? I think I did anyways go ahead and click that and in one of these folders you're going to see another folder called Android go ahead and double click that and your Android SDK is right in here so go ahead and double click this folder and you see a bunch of folders called add-ons, docs, platform, platform tools. Just go ahead and right click any of those and click properties and this is going to give you that path that we're looking for. So go ahead and just to be consistent with me, go ahead and right click your add-ons properties and uh, let me see if I can grab this. There we go. Go ahead and copy that. It should start with your hard drive and end with Android SDK Windows. So if you got the path that says that, now you know that you're in the right place. So go ahead and X out of that, X out of that, and go ahead and open up Eclipse. So now that we have that path copied, we need to tell Eclipse this is where our SDK is stored on our computer. And in order to do that, what we need to do is 
once you have Eclipse open, go to this window drop down menu right here and go to preferences. And once you're in preferences, preferences, what the heck? Can you guess what one to go to? Yep, Android right here. So again, like I said, I already uh, set mine up, but what you need to do is go ahead and paste that in your SD code. SDK location right there and as you can see mine's already pasted in there and go ahead and hit OK and once you hit OK everything's gonna be set up just like that this is how we tell Eclipse where our Android SDK is. so anyways that's what you have to do in order to configure Eclipse and once you follow this tutorial Eclipse is configured and ready to go so congratulations we are one step closer to developing sweet Android applications so anyways Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next tutorial.